Right, I think that's okay. I've been spending ages trying to get the lighting, the camera, the focus, and I'm really not a film person, so I hope it's okay. Today I'm going to go through all my December favourites, so that's all the products that I've picked up at the minute, some of them are high street, some of them are more expensive, and I'm going to show you guys exactly which products I like to use. So first of all, I'm going to start with a BB cream. Now these are fantastic because if you're anything like me, like I really can't be bothered to put my makeup on unless I'm going out and then I just go wild and put everything on here, on here once. No, I don't really, but I do love my makeup. But in the day, I just like something really light. So this is the Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream from The Body Shop. And if you can quite get it in focus there. There we go. And this is £8.50. They do it, I think they do it in four shades. I use shade two. Um, I'm actually really pale, so I like the second one. It's a little bit darker than my natural skin, so I just blend it down a bit. Um, but literally, like, not a big difference. And when it's on, you can't tell the difference. So that is that. It's really nice and light. Um, doesn't make me oily. I really love this product, so I recommend that. Right. Secondly, I'm going to go on to highlighters. So the first one we've got here is Sunbeam by Benefit. That's £18.50 from Boots. It's absolutely stunning. You might be used to the high beam, which I'll actually show you. Ignore the back of my hair. I've literally just clipped some clippings in. And um, yeah, as you can see, I've kind of got a bit of a mullet going on. This is the high beam and this is the sunbeam. I actually really, really love the sunbeam because as you can see, it's more of a golden tone. It's really nice for this kind of year, this time of year. And if you've got a spray tan or, you know, fake tan on, that looks so gorgeous to give you a glow at Christmas time. So that's £18 and that's from Boots. Well, that's where I got it from. So I think you can get it from loads of other kind of shops. Um, and Benefit have a really, really nice, if you're in London, they've got a really nice store on Carnaby Street. So it's worth checking that out. Now, the other highlighter I'm going to show you is the Sleek Highlighting Palette. This is kind of got a bit trash because I use it quite a lot. This is priced at £9.99. You can get this from like Boots, Super Drugs, etc. This is quite cool because this has got sort of the, the golden tone similar to the Sunbeam and also it's got this really pale colour here, kind of like a a whitey, pinky, peach, no not peach, kind of like a, almost like an iridescent. So that's kind of similar to the High Beam. So that's quite cool because you get all four. Um, I prefer the Benefit product just because it's, I'll show you, it's like a, like a liquid. So it's got this little brush and I just dab a bit of that on the back of my hand and I use like a duo fibre, something like this, just to blend that in there. So that is lovely. So the sleek one is 9 99 so it's kind of half price. Right, next I'm going to show you our concealers. So these are, sorry I keep looking away, it's just because I've got everything down here. These are under eye concealers. Now we've got three different ones here. And surprisingly, the smallest one is the most expensive. This is amazing concealer and this is between 20 and 30 pounds. So I know in Marks and Spencers is, sorry, I'm just checking that's getting in focus there. Marks and Spencers that is about 30 pounds, but in Selfridges online, it's 20. I'm not sure if, maybe I didn't check the mill right, but it's just worth having a look and seeing if you can get it cheaper so this is amazing cosmetics amazing concealer i have got it on now it is amazing like it's called so that is quite thick in consistency the best thing to use is a damp beauty blender when you're putting that on um it goes on and it it's really good if you like that really i've not done it really today but that really strong highlight and contour look um because that is the color fair and obviously because it goes on so light um, that is amazing. So just if you're not light skin, then probably don't probably go a couple of shades darker than the fair. Now, next one we've got the next sort of price bracket is 
from Boots. This is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. This is priced at £7.99. Sorry, the focusing is like so bad on this. Like I said, I'm really crap at filming, which is a shame. Um, this is the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. This is... What colour is this? Sorry, I'm crap. This is also in light, surprisingly. This is 7 99 I think I've just repeated myself like 10 times there. This is, it's all right. It's all right. It's not the best I've tried, but I thought I'd try it so I can let you guys know um, what I think of it, if you're thinking of buying it. Two reasons that I'm not so keen on this. A is because it's got the kind of this like squishy, weird like, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's not foam. It's like a, let me try and focus that. Okay, I've just tried to focus on it and it really doesn't want to focus, so that's another reason I don't like it. So yeah, it's got the top bit, so when you're putting it on, you have to really liberally get that out, otherwise you can, like, in my contour tutorials on a night out and my highlight, I, I put the MAC Studio Fix Concealer on first, and then I'd use one of these kind of things over the top. So not too keen on that because I do find it can take off what you've put underneath. And the other reason is that it is quite... Um, watery in texture so it's nowhere near as thick as this one and my favorite is the NARS um, radiant creamy concealer and it is just not a patch on that but having said that it is really nice for daytime if you don't want something too heavy so sometimes if I put the BB cream on I do cheat a little bit and I'll put something like that over the top because I'm literally not blessed with perfect kind of flawless looking I do sometimes get the darker under my eyes so that is good for daytime, but I personally wouldn't use it on a night out. That is $7.99. Now, the next one is the cheapest of the ones I'm showing you today, and this is the NYX concealer. This is the HD concealer, and I got this one for £5.50 on eBay. So if you're gonna buy that, just make sure that you're um you're buying from a reputable seller and it is real. Um, this one is real, obviously. This is, I think this is in the lightest colour, this is porcelain. They might do one a little bit lighter, but um, this, this colour is fantastic for me. Really like this. Not as good as the amazing one and not as good as the NARS, but it's really good for, I mean, for the price, it's fantastic and I would recommend it. Maybe if you're just getting into kind of highlight and contour, and you're looking for something that um, isn't too expensive. Brilliant, right, moving on. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is another, I'm, I'm obsessed with Benefit at the minute. This is another Benefit product. This is Give Me Brow. Give Me Brow, actually, not Give Me. And this is like a baby little mascara. The wand is, it's really hard to show you because, there we go. The wand is tiny. Now this is fantastic for what is in this season are the kind of un, untamed brows. I haven't done it today because I got ready in a rush. We're meant to be going out to take my dog somewhere and see my parents, but I don't know if that's gonna happen now. But anyway, that is lovely. So I shape my brows first and then use that and you can just brush, brush them up and they will stay in place. This is priced at £18.50. So it's quite expensive. Um, this kind of product, I feel that you can get away with going cheaper. I haven't, my bad, I haven't actually looked for a cheaper one, but I will have a look and I will let you know. But if you are thinking of investing in that, it is worth it. Now, these are my favorite eyeshadows at the minute. So moving on to eyeshadows, this is Pure Minerals Soul Matte Collection. I'm a big fan of um, like metallics and shimmery eyeshadows and something with a bit of bit of sparkle, especially at Christmas and in the summer actually, because you want that beach kind of golden goddess look, which I'm not a golden goddess, but it helps. So these are the pure minerals. It actually came with a little brush, but um, I don't really use the brush that's in it, so I use my own. Now these are like I said, £24. I'm obsessed with this second one along, wrong side, this one. 
at the minute it's a great transitional colour when you're um, putting your eyeshadow on and also the one in the middle, the really dark colour, that's quite a nice, it's showing up a bit pinker on there, it's actually more of a plum colour that is a really good dupe for this product here which is the Bobbi Brown Black Plum so if you're looking for something like that then I would recommend this set really nice, quite natural but like I said I like the metallics but this is quite nice for Christmas when I'm using a lot of glitters. I have all these pigments here from MAC. Um, I have some cheaper glitters as well, but we'll do that another day. But it's quite nice for a base, and then you can add your kind of sparkle on top. Brilliant! Now, if you want to splurge and you've got more money to spend, this is my favourite eyeshadow set at the minute. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Vintage Vamp. I have used this in another video. This is priced at £38 and it is absolutely gorgeous. If you've got, I've got blue eyes so this works so well on my eyes and again that is actually really similar to the black plum that I showed you and those kind of warm plummy tones are my absolute favourite on my eyes. So I love it. I really really love that. Um, there's not really much more to say on it, it's just I love it. The only thing is with these, with this gold colour in the corner the best thing to do is just scratch a little bit off before you apply because sometimes it can get a bit kind of oily you know when you're kind of re, re going into it when you're doing your eyeshadow with your brush um, it can kind of get this like not a film over it but it can get quite oily so you just sometimes need to give it a little just use a I don't know a pinhead or anything like that just to give it a little nudge and then that gets the product off perfectly. Next, we're going on to brush cleaner. Now as you know, I'm obsessed with makeup brushes. We'll go through those shortly. But this is the Blender Cleanser Solid. This is by Beauty Blender UK. This is so, so good. It's like a little bar. So as you can see, I've nearly come to the end of mine. It's like a little kind of bar of soap in there. Um, and what you do, you get your brush under the water in the tap and then just swirl it round in there and then just kind of tease it with your fingers and get the product off. That is literally, like I've always used like baby shampoo and stuff, but this is amazing. This is literally, this has made my life. This makes brush cleaning so much easier. I'm not getting paid to promote any of these products, so everything I'm promoting are things that I genuinely, genuinely like. In love with that. Now, that is, did I get the price of that? £13, and it is worth £13. That's it, Selfridges is £13, but Beauty Blender, um, you can buy their stuff online as well. Now, lip liners. I need to get through this quickly, because I don't want to, my last video was literally like an hour long, and I think people gave up after like three minutes. It must have been boring, but anyway, lip liners. Now, winter equals red. So, my favourite red lipstick is Ruby Woo by MAC. I'll just show you that there. It's actually looking a little bit brighter. It's kind of like the same colour as my nails, so there we go. I am a big fan of trying to find dupes of products. Now, I've got three for you here. We have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner. This is, I think it's £2.99. I'm going to put that one at the top. It's got that pinky tone, similar to Ruby Woo. And this is a pencil. Brilliant. Love it. Next one. Not so much of a fan, but if you prefer that more kind of, the, you know, not the pencils, they're more like a waxy, I don't really know what these are called, but this is the other one. I think it might be the same colour, actually. I didn't tell you the colour, did I? That is Red Dynamite. This is Red Diva. So, okay, so it's a little bit darker. I actually prefer the colour of, oh, you can't really see, of the Red Diva because it's slightly darker and when I'm lining my lips, I do prefer a kind of half a shade darker than my lipstick. Now, this is my favourite. This is NYX lip liner. Like, I'm a massive fan of NYX at the minute and I've been buying it all online. Um, you can get it in some shops, but I think they drastically need to get in more shops in the UK because um, this is amazing. Now you can see these are practically all more or less the same shade. I'm trying to hide my head so it focuses. 
So this is in colour Hot Red. Rouge Flamboyant. Maybe that's French. I don't know. Hot Red. So this is brilliant. That's brilliant. Together they are double brilliant. This is £4. The Ruby Woo is £14. Don't worry about going to MAC and being sold the Ruby Woo liner because you don't need it. That is brilliant. Stays on all day. Heard it here. I've used it. Next. Oh, I think we're done. Oh no, we're not. We're not done. We're not done. Right. Kiko. Don't know if you know Kiko. They've just opened a store here in Derby. Found the best tube for MAC Spice. This is Precision Lip Pencil in colour 302. I am obsessed. Now, sometimes I find with MAC lip liners is that they can be a bit hard to get off. I don't know if you've noticed that, but sometimes I get one and I think, oh my gosh, like, this is totally not good because it's like, it won't kind of, it's like it needs heating up, which is what I sometimes do. This one always comes out perfect. Now I'm going to show you it on my hand at the top. I'm then going to put my spice underneath. Can you tell the difference? Okay, this is pretty crap because it actually won't focus. Can you tell the difference? No. Right, so, MAC lip liners are, are they about 14 pounds? Something like that. I'm gonna show you it with, I must have, I have a bit of teddy in here. Everyone's favorite color still for like six months. I'm gonna show you it against them. Velvet Teddy down the side, those lip liners, perfect, perfect match. So don't buy Spice, buy the Kiko 302. It is like gold dust, so I don't know if somebody's already kind of found this one. I'm sure they have. So you might, it's kind of quite hard to get. And it's really annoying because with Kiko, you can't order online unless you spend over £20. Stupid. Annoying. Right, next I'm going to show you these. They're not makeup, but I thought they were cute. I've not actually had the bottle to wear them yet because I'd probably get slated. But I'm actually going to do a really nice makeup picture and put one in. Um, these are from Primark and they're imitation septum jewellery. So if you don't want to kind of... Ah, oh, the light's there. If you don't want to go and have your septum pierced, I would recommend these. There we go. £1.50. Beat that. £1.50. Quite nice. I'm going to try them. They've just been sat here. Um, yeah, I think I need long hair with it because I might look a bit like pink. Nothing wrong with pink, but not the kind of look that I go for. Oh, and this as well. I'm speaking really fast because I want to get this done. I don't want to annoy people. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is from Kiko and this is Velvet Matte Lipstick. And I think this might be a good tube for... Oh no, it's a bit darker. A bit darker than Ruby Woo. There we go. Oh, why do they look pink on there? They're not. They are red. It is... I like red matte. I don't like shiny red. I have that Chanel. The... Um, don't know which one it is. The Chanel red. And I don't like the kind of sheen it has to it. I like matte red. So that's not matte. Kind of like a semi... A semi sheen. That's... I really couldn't tell you how much that was. I'm really crap. But that is colour 608 Kiko. Right. I'm going to finish there. I have got a couple more things, but they're just hair things. I'm going to go on to do hair things another day. Hope you've enjoyed my really... Oh! Brushes. How can I forget? Fierce Face Brush Set, 69.99. Little kind of shameless plug, but these are absolutely beautiful. You get your face ones, you get your eye ones, you get your eyeliner. Basically everything in this beautiful case. Very, very similar to MAC. I'm going to show you a MAC brush right now. And I'm going to compare it. Is that a MAC brush? I never know because they're so similar. That must be a MAC brush. Yes. MAC Fierce Face. MAC one's gone a bit yellow because it's a bit old actually. Very similar. Goat hair. 
trying to focus that there. Anyway, very similar. I actually prefer the colour of these because they're rose gold and white. A little bit different. Can't get them mixed up with your mates unless your mates all buy them, which would be great for me. But there we go. Fierce face brush set. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them below or any comments or anything you want me to review. I've got to go and do a massive makeup shop next week. Um, yeah, and there we have it. Oh, and also the mirror. A lot of people ask about the mirror. I'm just going to show you it. This beautiful mirror. It's got lights across the top as well. There. That is from Illuminated Mirrors. Illuminatedmirrors.com. I'll put the link below anyway. It's amazing and it's got it's LED as well and it's dimmable. Can't really there. It dims. It's amazing. Except from outside, it looks like some dodge is being grown in here. But I love it. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.